There we go, it's better. <clears throat> Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> Hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, I know I did. It was a very, um, very long weekend for me. Uh, at, at work, they decided to give us all um, Martin Luther King's Day off. Um, it was nice. Um, I kind of wish that everyone could have that day off because I think it's important, important day to celebrate. Um, but in any case, um, yeah, it was a good four. Oh, we ended up making it a four-day weekend because, um, well, on um, on Tuesday I was feeling kind of so I, I wasn't at work. But anyway, <clears throat> um, we're gonna play some more of Atelier Riza. I know that it's not. Um, everyone's favorite game uh, but don't worry like this is probably the last time I'm gonna play it or you know anything like it um, uh, it's just uh, I don't know it probably it, it feels like it's probably a little bit too um, slow yeah, a little too uh, a little too relaxed of a game I guess like it's I like it and it's, it's interesting to me but I would prefer that we play stuff that keeps um, all of you guys engaged but um, for now, we're going to play some more of it. I, I did a little bit of alchemy grinding just so that you wouldn't have to watch me leveling up my, um, my alchemy abilities. But now we have, um, we have our scythe and we have our wood chopping axe. So we're able to collect a lot more stuff than we were before. Uh, first things first, I need to remember what I was doing last because frankly I don't remember oh never mind looks like our dad has an earring for us yeah we're gonna go harvest a goat not really oh, yeah, but yeah, if hey, if you're down for that, uh, Paul, let's do it. In fact, if you're interested, we you could um you could be my guest that um gives input on uh, what we make. Cause that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some other um, other people that like RPG Maker and RPGs in general to um, get together and um, throw ideas at the screen and and to make something. I think it'd be fun. So anyway, let's see. So, one, she, uh, she tries to leave, rather to attend to her father, who says to go to Fresher's shop and go buy some goat meat. So the shop near the Bowden District entrance. <clears throat> so I'm not gonna walk all the way there. I'm just gonna use a shortcut. <clears throat> Ta-da! <clears throat> I was hoping to, like, I was originally talking to the guy who made Super Ledge Hop about doing a. A co-stream where we essentially do that interactive RPG maker thing. And at first he seemed uh, like he was supporting the idea, but he kind of changed his mind, so that probably won't be happening. But I mean, the man works hard, so um, you know, I'm sure he's burned out on uh, game design after making such a banger of a game. Oh yeah, Th that's Lint's father. <laughs> <coughs> he's a drunk. <laughs> but it looks like he's seen some shit. Huh? <laughs>俺に先俺にと抜かしやる。俺金だったるんだ。街道で魔物をぶっ倒して稼いだ金がよ。バカだ。分かった。俺が話つけるから先に家に帰っててくれ。てめえ、せい。へい、ケンジ。あ、あ
Shit's getting serious. <clears throat> let's just synthesize. Let's use alchemy to make his father an O'Doul's. So he can have what he thinks is alcohol without becoming a drunk bastard. Anyway, I'm here to harvest a goat. Show me where he is so I can go hit it with my wood chopping axe. <clears throat> and harvest some goat. <clears throat> so, one thing I forgot to show you all when I was in this, or at this store last, was that you could buy recipe books for other, um, for other stuff. Like, for, for recipes and stuff to make other alchemy, um, recipes. <clears throat> anyway, we can make all, we can make better accessories than what this store sells. And then, of course, anything that we feel that we don't want that we've collected, we can also sell that off or stuff that we've made. But I think that currently I'm pretty much using everything that I've made. How much cheese? That's only worth five and ten. Yeah, so I guess uh, while while um, you guys were gone. I got um, Ryza to the point where she can make bombs and um, this other bomb-like item called Craft. <clears throat> we're not uh, we're not nearly super powered yet, but we have um, the ability to really mess up some monsters pretty well. <laughs> um, so I uh, I played an awesome game over the weekend. Um, I'm sure that you're all probably pretty familiar with it, but um, I finally took the time to sit down and play Soma. Uh, one of these days I might have to go uh, run through it again to take you all on that voyage because, my god, what a trip that was. Uh, I just hate... Well, for one thing, I have it on the Xbox One, so I'm going to have to... If I want to stream that, I'm going to have to bring it in here to do it. But I don't know if my wife's going to let me because um, she usually makes me keep the Xbox out there. Maybe I can switch the PS5 and the Xbox around and keep the Xbox in here and the PS5 out there. I'll have to see about that. But anyway, uh, Soma was amazing. Hey there, Big John. Don't worry, man. Just glad to have you here. I know that this game isn't super duper interesting, so I appreciate you coming to watch. And by the way, John, when are you gonna when are you gonna stream some more? I really wanna, I really wanna watch watch you stream some more games, especially fighting games, because you make them so interesting. <clears throat> but yeah, Soma was a fantastic game. <laughs> um, I can't really. It, I mean, if you're not familiar already, <clears throat> I don't want to ruin the whole topic of the game. But basically, the idea of the game is is that you're this guy who was in a car accident and to try to treat your brain trauma uh, they do a scan of your brain and then you wake up in a um, you wake up in a weird place at the bottom of the sea called Pathos 2 and basically you're you're a human um, a human mind in a robot <laughs> And all of the, the moral and existential quandaries that creates. And then there's just the fact that it's, it's, it takes place on the bottom of the friggin' ocean. That makes it, like, just crazy scary. Let's see, it really depends. I'll stream again when I know I can do so with y'all watching and without my roommates distracting me. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, here, Dad, I, um, totally harvested a goat for you. I wonder if there's anything else I could have used goat meat for about my allowance. <laughs> you don't skip a beat, Ryza. Good job. Oh, come on. All you did was waddle your chubby self down to the store and buy goat meat. Your dad doesn't owe you anything. He gives you a roof. Might be able to stream a couple weeks from now since I'll have the house to, my, have my house to myself. Yeah, totally do it, man. Like, just, just make sure that you tell... 
uh, me and Cameron and everyone else um, when you're planning on doing it, and uh, we'll totally watch. Okay, just telling me that I can do quests for people in town. Like, why wouldn't I be able to do quests for people in town? Doesn't need a tutorial, guys. <laughs> Uh, let's see what what's next after bringing the goat meat back it says to give her a reward if she helps out some of the other villagers for the time being Riza decides to explore pixie forest okay so now we'll go <coughs> down to the boat landing and go uh, <coughs> go explore some more so that is no it's not there I think it's deserted port there we go. We got a boat, y'all. Same boat we used last time. So, for those of you who are watching, I'm just kind of... I'm curious <clears throat> if, if you're, you'd be able to tell me what um, what kind of games do you have more fun when I, when I play them? Like, I know that you guys are there to support me no matter what, but is there... Like a game that you, the, a type of game that you enjoy watching me stream more than others that I can um, focus on just to make things a little more interesting. Because, like I said, I know that this game isn't the most uh, the most exciting game in the world. So I'm just curious to know. Ooh, barrels! Can I break these? Oh, I can't. Say no. Yes. I can't break them, so just say no. Rocks. Okay, so... Pixie Forest, I think, was... Over here. Oh, I didn't even realize I could zoom in. Oh, hey. It has a camera mode. Okay, it's the right bumper. Dang it. <laughs> Um, I really, I really need to do something with, about getting spicy food. I have some, um, I think I have like a thing of spicy ramen left. I would need somebody to make it though. Like if I'm not gonna, if I'm not gonna be able to do that one, uh, frequently or or reliably I really need to take it off the list until I have uh, something that I can use to um, something I can make <laughs> or eat rather <laughs> so yeah so the last time I well you didn't see me but I made the woodcutters X so now I can collect um, I can collect wood which I wasn't able to before. And of course, for some reason, I can also use that axe kind of like a pickaxe for some things. Like to get that crimson ore that I need to make bombs. Um, okay. I'm, I'm still trying to think of what to play next. Like, really? Like, I want to play more sh uh, shoot 'em up games. Because I really enjoy those. But, um,. I need to. I need to like work on building my collection of uh, schmucks a bit more. Like, um, I'm probably gonna save up my my Twitch money. Like, I don't get a lot of it, but whenever I get um, up to like 200 bucks, I'll probably use that to buy a copy of Moochie Moochie Pork because I really want to play that. The the cute them up with pigs. <laughs> Well, it's not pigs, it's like uh, anthropomorphic pig girls. It's, it's weird, but they're not like ugly or furry. They're just like girls, but they have like pig ears and a pig tail. And it, it was just a really cute game I saw at SGDQ. Or AGDQ, rather. Yeah, so, so this is... Um, this is... Where um, we create our secret hideout that is in the title of the game, Atelier Riza and the secret, the something or other in the secret hideout. We're just gonna move into somebody's busted down house without even asking permission. 
Odin, what are you doing down there? Probably not. Nope, it's just the alchemist and the woman who hasn't bought a new pair of clothes in 20 years. What game is that, Cameron? Now, monsters never spawn here, so why wouldn't it be a safe place? <coughs> oh, you know what? That's actually a game I'm thinking about streaming is, um, Fantasy Star Portable 2. I don't really have a fantastic way to stream it other than emulators, though. So it might just have to be emulated. I'll just, um, run it on, um, the NVIDIA Shield or something. That's another thing I need to um, eventually invest in is a, um, is a PlayStation TV. Because I could, um, I could jailbreak that and put it on there. Alright, so let's see. They discover a clearing that Pike's, uh, Rises interest, unsure what to do about it, however, she decides to head home and hold her up in her room to organize her thoughts. So, <laughs> did not mean to swing the axe there. Come on. Alright. Teleport. Oh yeah, that is a good one. Um, any of the Shantae games really are a fantastic choice. My personal favorite is Half Genie Hero. Oh, come on, Ryza. You know what an encyclopedia is. You have to. How are you going to be an alchemist without knowing what a damn encyclopedia is? That's like asking what a dictionary is or what toilet paper is used for. Actually, you know what, that last one isn't necessarily true, because in some countries they don't use toilet paper. Which actually makes more sense, because, you know, they use water. But let's not get into that conversation, because that gets gross really fast. Um, by the way, Cameron, did you see the name on that, um, that one Facebook uh, wall earlier in, on GameStop? The one that was called Taking a Dump at Sherwin-Williams? That's a, that's hilarious. <clears throat> like, it just seems like it's a wall promoting doing that. It's like, where are we going, Daddy? Oh, we're going to we're going to Sherwin-Williams. Ooh, to take a dump, Daddy? You know it. We're going to Sherwin-Williams to take a dump. Yay, I love you, Daddy. It's better than when we went to Disneyland to take a dump. <laughs> you go to Disneyland and you pay the ticket price. It's like, you, you pay, like, hundreds of dollars just to go in. You don't go on any rides. You just go to, a like, one of the restrooms and take a shit and then take a picture, you know, next to the can and then leave. Uh, that, would be, uh, that would be funny. Yeah, she really does. <clears throat> and, um, by the way, Richard, I, like, I don't know if you're watching or not. I, I kind of doubt it, but if you are, I'm, I'm sorry. I keep on like reading the um, reading what they're saying and thinking, okay, are you done saying it? Because like they're the words they're using just it ends so much more abruptly than like all the text that's there in English. Oh, 
That's one thing I really like about this game. Like, there's no, <clears throat> there's no big, overwhelming evil necessarily in this game. It's like it starts off kind of like that movie Stand by Me, where like you're literally just a bunch of kids going on an adventure. Except in this case, instead of going to see a dead body, you're going to see the top of a tower. I mean, there's a, there's there's more to it than that, but it's it's just a. It's a fun, happy little story. That's why you just use alchemy to make a new mom. Oh wait, no, don't do that. They tried that in uh, Full Metal Alchemist and it didn't go over too well. I think they spent the whole the whole series dealing with that problem. Yeah, you know what though? I think um, I think Soma is gonna have to be something I stream. Although it sucks that um, I already beat it, because now I'm going to know what to expect going in, and I'm not going to be able to have genuine reactions to anything anymore. Granted, when I played the game, I already kind of knew what was going to happen. Uh, because I the reason I played it in the first place is because I watched a... Um, a, a video essay about it and it in interested me to the point that I really wanted to play it. And once again, if you guys have not played um, Soma and you like scary games, or at least ones that make you think, uh, go play that one. That one's amazing. I mean, even graphically speaking, it was it was beautifully horrifying, especially being on the floor of the ocean and not being able to see shit. <laughs> Carl looks like he was bishy as fuck when he was younger. Look what a nice guy he is too, even though this Samuel guy looks like he's just a drunken asshole, like Samuel is nice to him. I mean, he certainly defused the situation. I need a drink for my drink. <laughs> He's like a dog that just had his testicles removed. God, why are, why is her mom so such a such a bitch? Such a bitch. Uh, oh, right. Where was I going? Uh, shit. I don't have an active quest right now. Wait, what was that? Learn Omni Alchemist. Gather a mystery type material. Looking for a bomb. I have, um... I have synthesized a bomb type item before. Why? Oh, I need to do. I need to make another one. Okay. I guess I go back inside. I guess I can synthesize a quick bomb just so that I can, um, so I can get that, get that reward. Um, can I do a quick synthesis, or do not I not have what I need to make it? Uh, just low, low quality. <laughs> yeah, if you're lazy, you can just have it do, do it for you. Uh, 
make a nice explosive Yankee candle, level my alchemy level up. It's great. Wait, what? Oh, is that what I needed to do? Just to... I see underwater. Well, it's... I don't know. Wait, are you talking about Soma? Or are you talking about <clears throat> why there were bubbles when she was alchemizing something? Is it, is it literally because of the fact that I just uh, um, finished that that piece there? Or is it... Was I supposed to just do some random alchemy? Because it didn't tell me anything. Uh, story. Oh, I see. And that's why I didn't see it. So, turn our friends. Um, no, nowhere in Polaski's Rise to come see him. Okay, so I gotta go to the old town. <clears throat> Residential square, yes. Oh. I mean, that's that's just how she rolls, I guess. Oh, hey, I can switch between stuff without having to use the joystick. That's nice. Hey, sorry about your box. I need that scrap paper for burning. That paper is for Marlene School and <clears throat> She's like, I want you to alchemize me clothes that are like ten sizes bigger than the ones I'm wearing. それって試験みたいなもの？そんなところだ。少し前の調査で船着き場の近くに手頃な場所を見つけたんでな。そこを探検してこいってことか。三人で行ってどんなところか調べて無事に帰ってこい。Oh boy, she's got two different colored eyes. So she's actually more like that one character from um Chunbyo. 僕は怖いから二人で行って。Nope, stop being a puss. Don't be a cookie puss. Come along. Ooh,、Can I have some? <laughs> it's um it's black tar heroin. Oh wait, I was already on the right page. Um Explore a cave to the west of Traveler's Road. Okay, so I know where that is. Now I'm gonna go dig through everyone's trash like a creep. I'm guessing that dried lumber is um is fuel. I didn't even realize there were so many ways of um collecting stuff here. Just from digging through people's trash. It's like you discovered the stained underwear. She wanna be mermaid. I mean maybe she does. Maybe she wants to maybe she wants to be um Sayu. What the hell are you getting nervous for? You've you've been fine so far except for when that ferret killed you. Is this said cave? Maybe. If, no, it's not. It just looks like a cave. I need to go over over here. And um, I'd rather not piss off the green slimes. Not because I can't kill them, but just because well, I don't want to waste. Uh, I don't want to waste time. I don't. I don't have time for scrubs. <clears throat> I 
確か魔石の鉱山跡なんだっけ。Oh, is that what we're here for, Fairy Stone? 月場のすぐ隣にこんな綺麗な場所があったんだ。アンペルさんは水没コードをって名付けたらしいけど、そのまんまだな。のんきすぎるよ、二人とも。ここは強い魔物とか出てくるんじゃないの。So, what,、uh, what system should I get the sequel on, chat? Like, I'm thinking,、um, I'm thinking I'm gonna go for、um, the PS5 version. Like, the graphics aren't like, super spectacular, so I'm not really sure if,、um, if it's really necessary to go that way. Like, it might be better just to get on the Switch like I normally get games like this. I can lay down on the couch and play it while relaxing. <laughs> I just want more games that are made for the PS5. Because right now there's really still not a whole lot of、um, games for it, let alone exclusives. And I mean, Demon's Souls was pretty much the only exclusive so far. Defeat a monster of the Puni race. Ooh, what's this? Is this a kind of fruit? No, I don't have a Palmola fruit. Or a palma fruit. That sounds like、um, Nestor's、um, girlfriend's name. You know, Palmala, Palmala Henderson. Ooh. I'm on the bet these things drop that rock I need. Let's see. So, what kind of thing is going to work well on these? Let's try explosive a n e s That did pretty well. Let's see. I think I gave. I'm pretty sure I gave somebody in my party bombs. I guess not. Rats. I didn't equip bombs before leaving. That's okay. I think my.、Um, I think my explosive uni is probably better, anyways. Let's try craft. See how that does. Oh, damn. That did a shit ton of damage. And it、uh, triggered.、Um, lint. Yeah. She needs, to, she needs to synthesize a restraining order to keep all, the, all of the creeps away. Not you, you're not a creep. Oh no, get away from me! I don't want what you're selling.、Um, I don't think I can. Can I, can I equip tools here? I don't think I can. I think I have to actually be at the box. Oh wait, no, that's tools, not, not items. So, can I equip items? I mean, um, yeah. No, I can't. I can only switch between what everyone else has. I could have sworn I just. Oh, he has ice caltrops? Really? Huh. Explosive, uni spike. Um. Tell you what, I'm gonna switch with you. And then you can have the explosive uni, because they're ice caltrops or something I haven't tried using yet. Let's see how they work on this thing. Oh, crap. That didn't,、uh, I didn't hit him. Come on. My turn. My turn. My turn. My turn. My turn. Okay, that didn't really seem to work all that well. Explosive diarrhea, go. Might as well use my, the last of my CC to, to heal. That and so I can、um, trigger him. I'm surprised nobody's asking me to use magic. Oh, you know what else? I just re remembered in order to.、Um, well, actually, I'm, I haven't really been attacking either. Like, I need to. If I'm going to. Oh, f a i r y s t o n e fragment. I wonder what I can make with that. Like, see, that's, that's what I think is really fun about this game is, is figuring out all of the different stuff you can make. 
So if I hit it, it'll probably gonna make give me um, pomela fruit. But if I do this, it'll give me logs. If I hit it with my scythe, I'll get bark. I need bark because I need um, like find burnable items. What else is in here? Are there any other interesting rocks to break? Oh shit! Hi. Oh, you know, that's, that's actually another, another, um, I just had another idea for another game to, um... Oh yeah, I'm very looking forward to trying Chapaguri. It just, it sounds cool. Oh, I got a new, um, I got a new spell. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to that, absolutely. I was just thinking, though, another thing I could, um, I could always, um stream is Prey, because I really like Prey. That was a fun game, but it's also a very long game for an, as far as an FPS is concerned. Then again, I'm streaming this, and this is a long game, so... Alright. Magic time. You have everything that we need to make it? Oh, what's that? Is that a new thing that we got up there? I don't think it's what we what we came here for, of course. Oh shit. Uh Okay. Hitting that with a Wait, I can I can harvest this? That's neat. I didn't know that. <clears throat> Fuck off. I didn't do anything to you, I just killed your brother. Yeah, I'll kill you too. Because <clears throat> I'm mean. Oh wait, that's right, no one can magic. So I should absolutely use magic. <clears throat> I don't know if, if um, Tao can deal. Um, oh, I guess he can. Ooh, that's like a double order skill. Does that mean I'm gonna that both of them are gonna do something? Oh, yes, it is. Very nice. Oh yeah, I love Top Sirloin. Not only is it cheaper, all in all, it I think they're a better, just a better steak. That's my opinion, though. The only kind of steak I don't like is a mistake. Uh, okay, there's more of those mossy rocks. That one looks kind of mean. The other ones at least look kind of happy. That one looks like it's scowling at me. Ash and sand. Look like toads from Mario with blue gems. Yeah, <laughs> You're, you ain't wrong. Ooh, I can hit this rock. Poison grass. Very nice. Only thing that sucks here is that eventually I'm gonna run out of space in my inventory for carrying stuff. Sorry, buddy, you gotta carry dead things. Ooh, what's that down there? It's like a pillar of some sort. I bet that ought to turn into something interesting if we hit it with a hit it with the axe. Remember on Mario where toads have ice crystals up their nose? 
Um, I do. Um, it's um, it was uh, the you know you, you remember the Scarface Mario um, crossover where the Toads were Pretty snorting um, crystal meth and um, cocaine, and then Mario gets way too um, wasted and he like he takes out a gun Mario. and says say hello. No, he says say hello to my little friend. Woohoo! And then he shoots everyone while the the, the racing music from Super Mario 64 plays, or the, the slide music, rather. You know, the dun 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 I would pay to see that. Like, somebody do do an edit like that. I think that'd be funny. It's just, the, like, Tony Montana um, fucking shit up with that music playing. Ooh, Ancient Pillar. Oh, flowers. Flowers. Okay, so I need to hit this one. Yeah! Aqua War. Ooh, I don't have any of that yet. Give me, yeah! give me, give me more of that. And these are just palm fruits. I'm yeah! guessing that's what I get from hitting. Oh no, I get oil tree yeah! fruit, which is also a fuel. Yeah! A good fuel at that. Eh? And we need fuel to make make good explosives. Ooh. Is that more of that aqua stone, or is that a different rock? Ooh, lightning ore! Fuck yeah! I don't know why I get so excited about this, like, this stuff, but in this game it's just, it's so fun, like, when you find new stuff, and, like, you can go and, um, create new, um, new weapons and new items and, and, and whatnot from it. Is that... Did I miss one? Yeah, I guess so. More aqua ore. Might as well take the... I'm guessing that's palma... No, that's oil tree fruit. Okay. I thought that the palma um, trees were just dropping oil tree fruit for some reason. Well, I still haven't found that thing she sent me to find. Just take another random oyster. Oh, yeah. I forgot you can fish in this game too, but you need, you need to make a fishing rod first. Which I am sadly do not have yet. The fact that this monster is just kind of sitting there, and it looks pissed off, and it's not going anywhere, that makes me think that it's probably a boss monster that I'm supposed to fight, or something. Okay, uh... Do that first. And then I'll have you, um, convert this to CC so that we have more CC points. And then we'll have you attack. And then I'll switch back over to Ryza. Oh shit, he died. Uh, that's probably bad. I mean, it's, it's absolutely bad. Oh shit, we're all dead. I don't know if I was supposed to, to win that fight or not. I mean, clearly I'm not supposed to die either, but, um... Shit. That's a shame. We got our ass handed to us. Oh, hey, we can, um... We can almost make a hammer. We just need more tough log and ethereal stone that I don't have yet. Ooh, delicious bait. I don't think I can make delicious bait just yet. But I can make an I can make ice bombs now, so that's cool. Um, so two. So I've got a bunch of this amethyte ore that I can use. And then we'll just throw some lobster in here. Oh wait, I need... I need something that gives green so I can open that up. Insufficient... my ass. It says I can make it. Alright, I guess I just don't get to have that effect then. That's a shame. 
I had picked up a whole bunch of aqua ore, but because that monster killed me, I didn't get to pick it up. Dang it, I forgot. I need one that has blue and green. Oh, that's okay. I'll be going back. At least now I can make ice bombs directly. And yes, it's literally a freaking ice cube with a with a um, fuse in it. Brilliant. <coughs> and I want to make that scythe axe, but I need metal apparently. All right. Well, back back down to where I was so that I don't um, or so that I can find that stupid rock. I really hope that, that that monster isn't what I'm expected to kill to get what I need, because that sucks. Oh shit, you know what? I totally forgot something very important. Because I'm willing to bet those things are probably, um, like fire. I mean, they probably don't like fire. If I had to guess, I'm sure they don't like fire. Uh... Spread. Okay, so the craft is better than my uni bomb anyway. So let's see which one of my bombs has the highest quality. Fire damage S, fire damage S, just fire damage S. But both of these have that lowered, lowered guard and critical. That one's critical level three though. Let's go with. I guess we'll go with this one. You can have that bomb. Oh, he's not able to equip it yet. Shit. I guess you can use the. You can take the ice bomb. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, ice bomb, and then let's switch back over to Ryza. We'll give her one of the two um, blessing ointments. So that she has at least some healing capacity. And I think... Yeah, we'll give them this better grass beans. And I need some more of those energy pendants. I wonder if I can make those, because those have um, a health That's regain ability on it. Uh, energy... Ooh, I can make energy pendants. HP plus 10. Oh, I don't have enough to do HP um, plus 20. So I need yellow, but ultimately anything will open up this other thing, which I don't have. I don't have metal. Eh, it's not worth making. I'd probably best be better off buying, buying a couple. Does it explode like dry ice? Um, not to my not to my best knowledge. Um, let's go to the Bowden District real quick and then see if I can buy an energy pendant or two from this guy. That really sucks that I dropped all of that all of those um, parts. I didn't think I dropped that many. Oh, of course he's he's not here. He's at home sleeping. What a lazy bastard. Sleeping during the night like a normal person when I need energy pendants. Maybe he should buy one of his own energy pendants and then he could wake up. Yeah, give me more of that. This stuff was good. And I definitely need to get more aqua ore and I'm still not sure if I'm expected to fight that that one monster at the end of the cave. Does this thing have... Okay, I guess all of these things are oil tree fruit. Take that tree. Yeah, see, like, look, those... 
Those are nice. They, their eyes are all bulging and cute and stuff, and the other ones are... Well, I mean, I guess I'm killing them, so I guess who's the real asshole? Oh, that's right. I forgot I have different modes. Let's see how Bomb does. Oh, I was right. Bomb does really well. So maybe those bombs will will serve me better against those other things. I hope. Okay, it's only the works on these. Ooh, I, I don't think I, I don't think I harvested these last time. Yeah, I definitely didn't harvest these last. I might as well level up a bit. Oh, damn it. I was too close. That's okay. Bomb is going to do quite a bit. Yeah, see how how much that raised my um, my AP gauge. And it just destroyed the fuck out of them. Unfortunately, in this game, leveling up only takes you so far. Like, the monsters you fight, you just have to be really good. Your items have to be really good, and you have to know how to use them really well, which clearly I'm not doing too great at. That's why we died, because those things were taking damage, just not nearly fast enough. You know, I don't even know what those things do. Like, I don't know what Omni Alchemist does. This game is definitely challenging and uh, full of different systems and, and mechanics and whatnot. I just don't know exactly what they are. Hmm, didn't look like mushrooms last time. Uh, I've had, I've gotten those before. Shit, he like backed up into me. Hey, Woody, what's up? I haven't seen you in a while. When are you gonna get to your streaming uh, set up, dude? All you gotta do is message me and I'll um, walk you through it. Oh no. Screen's going to sleep. Why would my screen choose now of all times to do that? A computer's like reasoning for going to sleep is is stupid. It's like, um, you know, oh, you have Steam running, so because of that, um, I can't um, I can't sleep. But then, like you um, you have freaking XSplit running, and um, that's not enough of a re like it's with XSplit running, it's actually doing something. And for some reason, that's not enough to, um... Oh, I do have to kill that thing. Shit. Um, but yeah, it's like, that's not enough to of a reason to stay awake. Encoding video? Hell no. Um... Just having something open? You know, oh, I'm going, you know, I'm staying awake. And, uh, yeah, Woody, this is a Switch game. And the sequel that comes out in a week is also a Switch game. Um, as well as a PS5 game and, um... I think it's on Xbox as well. Alright, so this time, after I get the Aqua Ore and stuff, I'm gonna go back to, um... 
I'm gonna go back to town first before I try fighting that monster I'm supposed to fight because clearly um, it's strong and I need to be stronger to deal with it. So, let me see, I guess I'm gonna, I better get some tough logs. Oh yeah, I need to... I need to... I need to play those games again because I actually never finished part one or part two of Bravely Default. I do have them on my modded um, 3DS though, and I'm looking forward to the new um, the new one that's coming out yeah! on the Switch sometime this year. Yeah! Um, I tell you what though, the first one kicked my ass really hard. Hey! Can I use the axe here? No, I can't. Um, the hey! first one, I got through the first part of the game and got through to the second half, hey! and I tell you, man, that that game just. Yeah! fucking destroyed me like the the part where you have to fight basically the first fight um over again and they're just super strong like that that was ridiculous i honestly gave up there shit i can't carry anymore so i don't need any uni at this point i guess um what is this? Ancient pillar. I want to keep that. I'll get rid of the uni because I have plenty of uni. Uh, shit. What else can I get rid of? Because I want that. I want that oil. I've got plenty of palm. Uh, palm of fruit. Um, hmm. I guess I got a ton of amatite ore. Yeah. Anyway, let's um. Let's go back to town really quick, and then I'll come back and try my bombs out and see how that works on those things. Especially now that I have some um, extra levels. That and I should see if I can make a better bomb. Jeez, so I can't make... Oh, I can make ice bombs, but I can't make the, the better bomb. Or the better... I, I can't start off lower and build up to it, so... Oh, blessing ointment. God, that looks like a turd. Is there anything new that I can make that I couldn't make before? I say, I don't have any metal. Alright, I'll just make a better ice bomb than what I have, and then try making a, a better bomb in general, since my alchemy level is higher now. Okay, so we got ice damage S. I don't have any, um, like, regular water. That's sad. So wait, was that for quality? No, that's for an ability. Shit. I have sea f I have like lobsters and shit I can throw in there. But I only have two more items I can put in here, so this isn't gonna go well. I'm not gonna be able to go add an extra effect. Actually I can, but it's not gonna be enough to get ice damage M, so I guess it's not worth it. Uh supplement and flicked frostbite. We can try. We can try to get that. Damn it! I don't have any seafood that gives gives it plus two. I guess we're just going to go for quality then. Unfortunately. That's a shame. Oh well, in any case, it's a better ice bomb than what we had before. And we got experience from it, so that's always worth, worth the effort. Let's see, been trying to find good games on the Switch. Been playing one called Dungeon Limbus, and I love it. I have not played that one. Uh, if, you haven't played, if you haven't played Hades, Woody, you need to play Hades. Damn it, I don't have, I don't have any more Crimson Ore. I need more crimson ore so that I can, um... Because I think I've only got ever had fire damage S before, at most. Something with, and, and something with lowered guard, of course. 
Uh, do I have gunpowder? Oh wow, I do actually have gun stuff that can be used for gunpowder. That fire damage M would be really nice, especially in that fight that's kicking my ass. So if I were to go this route, I would need f four... Well, the four would be from here. So this would unlock this. And then I'm not sure how many I need of this. I mean, all I know is I would have to get at least two green there. And I've got tons of oil tree fruit, so maybe if I just go out and get some um, crimson ore, that'll be enough to get me what I need to make a better bomb. So crim yeah, crimson ore, and um, that should be good. I could also just try going back and killing it with what I have now and see if I'm successful or not. I would ultimately need to have like everyone equipped with bombs, and I think only two of us are. So I guess I'll get some Crimson Ore first so I can make a better one. Superstar deserves to win. What does that say? Sensama, I got addicted to Splatoon 2. Somebody told me about that game. Are you talking about Splatoon 2 or Hades? Superstar deserved to win shenanigans. Yeah, Immortals Phoenix Rising looks fun too. That looks like, uh, like a Zelda... Zelda-like game. Like it, the graphic style looks like um, what you would expect to see from um, like Breath of the Wild. All right, so I don't remember what drops crimson ore. I want to say it's these these rocks here can can drop crimson ore. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Okay, so these give me crimson ore, so I can farm some of these to get me what I need to make better bombs. Ooh, got two of them out of that one. And I think this is just going to give me Amatite. And clearly I need more seafood. I need more lobsters to throw in there to, to make some of those things. I mean, there's there's lobsters and shit over there I could go, go um, catch. I don't feel like it, though. Lovely music. Yeah, this game has fantastic music. I love the music in this game. So, I say let's get all of the oil tree fruit we can, because we need it. Uh, and of course these things, which are only gonna get me, they're probably only one point of blue each, but that's okay. Uh, you know what, I don't need more, I don't need more tree oil. Let's go down here and... So I was down there last time. Let's go down there real quick and go get the aqua ore and stuff that's down here. And some seafood from these these uh, shells. Oh, it's just more pretty shells. Okay, cool. Uh, might as well get the lightning ore too. And then we'll go check that other direction and see what's over there. I don't need any more oil tree fruit, I think. Those ancient pillars ought to come in handy for something. I don't know what yet, but they will. Ooh, eroded stone. I don't think I have any of that yet. And yeah, I don't want any more fruit because I can only carry so much stuff. This game you're playing right now looks interesting. I, um, I love this game. Uh... I, I think that maybe as a, a game to stream, it's probably a little bit boring for people to watch because it's um, it's kind of slow paced and it's more about it's more about alchemy than it is about fighting. Like fighting is a is a big part of it, but you get your you get your you you do your damage through item use, and the only way that you can make items is through um, oh that's where I came from. The only way that you can make items is through alchemy, so leveling up your alchemy is, is very important in this game. Hopefully this is not like a super, a super fairy. It's just the regular kind. And the, the battle system is kind of real time. Let's try Ice Bomb and see how that does. Holy shit! Those, uh, those fairies do not like Ice Bomb at all. Holy shit, they don't like Ice Bomb. 
Uh, ash and sand, I don't really need any of that. Oh, fuck. Get away from me. Damn it, I didn't hit her with my stick fast enough. Alright, I need to I need to see the power of that ice bomb again. But first, explosive uni. Uh, ice bomb. I think, I think it was probably just a... I don't think it was, I don't think that the ice bomb really did that much damage to it. I think they were just so close to dead that it finished them off. Ooh, what did I get? I don't think I've ever had those, whatever they dropped. Oh good, more lightning ore. Yeah, you think that does a lot of damage, wait until you see the stuff later in the game. Or, you know, the boss that I'm gonna be facing short- shit. The boss I'll be shortly facing. Or trying to face. Oh wow, okay, so my bomb uh, killed that one. So maybe that's what spread actually does. I think spread actually hits everything, it just does um, a fixed amount of damage and it spreads it amount uh, spreads it out among all of the things that are being hit by it. I'm sure there's a way I could find out. I think there's like an encyclopedia. Shit, I don't have um I'm out of I'm out of stuff. So I'm gonna have to convert one of my items in the in the core charges. Yeah, it definitely spreads out the damage. That's the that's the difference. But since I got that order command, uh, it turned it still did a lot of damage. Blacksmith of the Sand Kingdom. I've seen I saw that on the PlayStation Store and it looked fun. Like it looks like a um, the art style reminds me of freaking um, ReZero for some reason. Like the little flying like mascot character reminds me of um, the the little God, what's his name from um, from ReZero? What is that game like, Woody? Like, what, what kind of game is it? Uh, cotton grass. I guess I could use some of that. Alright, so I'm not fighting that. That is just... That is a big... That is a huge bitch. That's a huge bitch! Or, um, in that other voice I do, Oh my god, that's a huge bitch. Uh... So let's grab these mushrooms, and I'm also going to go back outside because those um, those crimson ore rocks should have respawned, so I can get some more. Because I want to make sure everyone's everyone's got a regular bomb, and the bomb that they have is fantastic. Because I want to make sure that that angry-looking turd monster. Uh, dies. Oh yeah, so Cameron, I didn't mean to tell you that. Um, I saw your your message earlier. I just didn't have, have a chance to reply because I was working. But um, yeah, um, I actually already have all of the Turrican games on the original consoles. Um, granted, I can't really take credit for owning them since they're on EverDrive. But yeah, I have them and I've played them and I love um, I love the Turrican games. The Turrican games are fantastic. Uh, the only thing I don't like about them is that their control Scott their control style is a little bit awkward like for a modern game because it's got that whole like you can't shoot at an angle type of thing and that's always been kind of a pit peeve in games but other than that the games are so good that I don't really care that much oh I can't care anymore I want the crab uh, so let's see, Woody says it's cool, you own a blacksmith shop and you fight monsters and collect stuff, you make stuff in your shop and you can make items for your team members, you sell stuff, it's pretty cool, you can see what items are popular to sell and you pick the price you want to sell them at, you get a report to see how stuff is selling and everything. So that actually sounds similar to this, I would actually probably enjoy that. So yeah, I will, um, I'll have to give that game a look-see. For sure. I think these help me a whole lot. Granted, they're seafood. All right, cool. Let's go back to the to the atelier and um, 
Let's see what we can make. So hopefully I can make a better bomb than I did before. And see if there's anything else new that I can make that I wasn't able to make before. Alright, so let's see. Bomb. So I've got tons. I've got crimson ore out the yin yang now. Alright, so we want. Hold on, so what is this? That's fire damage medium. So do I have anything here that offers two? I sure do. This um, polluted human or polluted hummus. And then we got got gunpowder for days. Courtesy of gunpowderfordays.com. Cool. Now we'll have a, a nice bomb that makes a big boom. Of course, there's also two of two of those monsters we have to fight, so that's gonna suck a little bit. Uh, lowered guard. I'm not gonna invest more points into that. Although that is kind of a useful ability, it might not be bad to have one of them have that ability, just so that we can lower their um, lower their hit points a little bit or their defense rather. And I got just enough that I can make another bomb with fire damage medium. Ooh, enhanced finisher. I like the sound of that. You can have well, you can make huevos rancheros and fajita crab tacos. Woody, have I ever told you about the concept of carnage gisada? I probably haven't. And damn it, I don't have enough to make another bomb. Um, I want to make a taco called Carnage Gisada, and I want it to have, um, I want it to have bird meat of some sort, like chicken, quail, turkey, something or other. I want to have, want to have, uh, like beef of some sort, and I want it to have seafood as well, like shrimp or crab meat. And the reason it's called Carnage Gisada is because it's got, like, all different kinds of meat in it, so it's like, it's land, air, and sea. Is, is the is the the thought process I have like I want something that has all those things and all the meat is kind of shredded up in such a way that oh, I still don't have regular water uh, and then all the meat is like kind of ground up in such a way that it's kind of like a slurry and then you just mix in um, Call it like you just you just mix in some kind of a sauce or something. I don't know what sauce would go good with all three, um, you know, you know, food types. Okay, so I've got fire damage M, and you will have. Let's see. We'll give you the one that does the lowered guard. Oh, he can't even equip a bomb. That sucks. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, buddy. You take the other one with fire damage M. And I guess... Yeah, you know what? I should probably have um, Ryza put something else here. Like an ice bomb. Like this one that's ice damage S. And then we'll go back over to Tau and give him the ointment with HP gain S so that we have a decent healer on the team. Alright, and it is 1 a.m. so I'll have her sleep till morning and then I'll go and buy a, um, buy some en energy pendants. Valentina sauce? Is that what you said? What is that? Jen might know. I might have to ask her. But I'm curious, what is that? That sounds um, that sounds like an interesting ingredient. But do you think that would taste good with um, with uh, seafood, like poultry, and um, and uh, beef? I mean, I could also use pork instead of beef. It's a really awesome Mexican hot sauce. Yeah, you know, I should probably just try it and see how it turns out. Just cook up some shrimp, cook up some beef, and cook up some chicken. Uh, probably chicken thigh meat. And then we just mix it all together in a, like a ninja 
food processor and just kind of shred it all up like you would pulled pork. And then um, just mix in a sauce and try it. I mean, what's um, what's to what's there to lose, right? Other than potentially, you know, making something that's disgusting and doesn't taste good. I've also been thinking it would be fun to have a restaurant called um, Show Me, um, or no, it was just uh, originally I was saying I wanted to call it Show Me Your Nudes or Send Me Send Nudes. Um, but it was going to be a noodle truck that sells, um, like spaghetti, uh, all these different creative macaroni and cheese dishes, and ramen. Where the only thing that really, um, joins all the food together is noodles. Or heck, you could maybe even customize it so you can be like, do you want spaghetti? Do you want macaroni and cheese? Do you want ramen noodles? Do you want udon noodles? Do you want a mix of different types of noodles? That would be kind of cool. So mm -hmm. Like, um, like yeah. it, like udon mixed with macaroni noodles, and then for some reason you've got like the mac and cheese, um, stuff like the Velveeta, but then you also have like the, the, the soup broth mixed together with that for some reason. I don't know, like, I think that could taste freaking amazing. Oh, hey there, uh, Alex, good to see you. But man, like, I want to, I want to try all those things. Like, I bet that all of those things could, like, Te technically taste at least interesting. I just need to experiment like mixing different noodle types together with stuff that they don't traditionally go with. Oh, thank you. You are you are referring to me, right? <laughs> and you're not just like no, I'm I'm switching between you and in another uh, channel. And they're my favorite peeps. Hey, look, um, there's Edward. Granted, he's not an alchemist, and he's a lot older. But this is what I was saying earlier, guys. Don't um, don't try to um, use alchemy to bring your parents back from the dead. So I need to. Um, oh, I just needed to bring him some um, additional stuff, and I already have that. Here, take your shit. Um, except I'm not giving you good, I'm not giving you the good shit. You're gonna have to settle for, you know, this turd. And, um, these two turd plants. Donde, donde es el baño? Um, what is this? Paime, you know what this is. <laughs> Remember I bought this game for you two Christmases ago and you played it. <laughs> To Atelier Riza, which, by the way, the sequel comes out next week on the 27th, I think. And I'm gonna break this guy's shit because I need, I need, I need his goods. Except he didn't have any good, he didn't have any good goods, just, just bad goods, shitty goods. Now I like bad goods because that sounds like an oxymoron. It's Thick Alchemist Simulator 2020. Yahoo! Oh god, it's the yeah. drunk. <laughs> He's here to buy porn. gonna give it back he's gonna try to drink it he's like I can't drink this this is metal oh I didn't even ever get involved in this side quest you sure Everyone's a kid at heart, Ryza. Except for the people who died inside. Let's see. Energy pendants. There's only they only have one, that sucks. I guess I'll take it. Because I need more of that. Uh Nardi Ring, Power Charm, Defense Charm. That would come in handy. 
Shit. Um, I guess I have to sell a couple of things. I only need four four coal. So what can I sell? Let's sell some um, some slime bits to him. I'm not getting my friggin' fruity pebbles. Barney, my pebbles. Barney. Do you have anything that I can't collect yet? I don't think I've ever seen a sunny honey. Oh, that's a that's cute. At first, I thought I said it wrong. A sunny honey flower. All right, cool. Maybe we'll stand a small chance against um, Mr. Uh, Crazy Go Nuts. All right, so I want this one for sure for Ryza, and then you can equip this because you're gonna need that defense more than me. And then Tao, you can just um, you'll 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 be fine. And by that I mean you'll probably die. <laughs> But that's okay, you don't really do much of anything anyways. <laughs> Club where people we on each other. What are we, um, old Greg all of a sudden? I was gonna say, like, if you wanna make it, um, fit the theme here, be like, you wanna go to a club where people do alchemy on each other? I'm old Greg! I'm old Greg! Man, speaking of old Greg, I wonder if, um... Greg has played this. Seems like this game would be right up his alley. Oh, maybe not right up his alley, but I think he'd enjoy it. And I bet Mars Girl would enjoy this game too if she gave it a shot. I mean, honestly, I think I, th I think everyone should play one of these games just to just to try it. And this is definitely the the proper point in this series to be introduced into it, because it's absolutely, out of all of them, uh, my favorite. That is not to say that the other ones are bad. Aw oh, man, you're not giving me any friggin' crimson ore? Like, is this, is this one of those things where I have to be here at night or something to get crimson ore? Because that's just stupid, if that's the case. Oh well, that's okay. Yeah, it really is a great game. And that's that's exactly where I get lost in in the game, and that's why I think this is probably a horrible game to be streaming because it's just um, it's um, I don't know that kind of gameplay loop doesn't really lend itself to streaming unless people like crafting. Okay, here's the asshole. Um, wish me luck. I'm probably gonna die. Sounds like she's saying, I did it? Wait, did I kill it? Oh, I did. Okay, there we go. I don't want to, I don't want to stream Minecraft. So, I was worried about dying to that thing, and um, my bombs killed them in one hit. Oops. Oh yeah, we do need to play some Tabletop Simulator. We really do need to play more Tabletop Simulator. Uh, I've been pondering, like, I want to play another horror game soon, and since I've played, like, recently I played Soma, and I really want to stream that game, because that was just such an incredible game, and it was just creepy on so many levels, like, like, the monsters, the underwater, like, being on the floor of the fucking ocean, and... Uh, the existential qualities of that game just all come together to just create the ultimate in feeling uncomfortable about everything. <laughs> and then, of course, um, I would love to play uh, Prey just because it's such an interesting game. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, I just... I know I probably just need to play it, but Among Us just... Something about it just doesn't doesn't get my attention. Like it looks fun, I guess. It's just some, and, and like I said before, I've said this so many times. Like I know that this is probably the most shallow reason to not want to play a game, but the art style just turns me off so much. Like it just it just looks so, the art style just looks so lazy. 
But everyone says that the game is great, so clearly I need to give it a shot. <laughs> oh yeah, right, I need to go and bring this to Tit Lady that doesn't know how to wear clothes. I'm on my way, Tit Lady. It's cheap. I mean, I, I own I own Among Us. Oh, and I've, I've played Dead by Daylight. Um, Dead by Daylight is a pretty good game. It's it just got... Um, it got a little repetitive eventually at some point for me. Oh, wait, wait. No, 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 no. no I'm thinking of a different game. Uh, Dead by Daylight is the is the multiplayer game where you're trying to like one of you is a killer and then the rest of you are uh, survivors. And speaking of which, um, when um, when Back for Blood comes out, which is the um, I don't think it's just the spiritual successor to Left for Dead. Like it is a true successor to Left for Dead um, or a true sequel. I'm getting that day one and. Um, anyone else that wants to play, um, I'm willing to buy up to, um, two other copies of the game for two more people to play so that we can all play. Uh, and I'm naturally planning on playing on PC. Back for Blood? Back for Blood is, um, is literally a sequel to Left for Dead. That that um texture of that that um thing on her hand looks so fake. It's like it's just tattooed on there. I mean, it felt good blowing those things to hell. Blowing them to hell before they could hurt me. Why do anime girls always smell their hands when they're making proclamations like that? It's like... It smells like ass. Wait one day and then return to Tit Lady and one-handed, one-armed guy house. Got it. Okay. Now, what can I make Oh, I did get some crimson ore in there. Sweet. Uh, what can I do with that blue shit? Can I make anything with that? Oh, I can make a bronze a bronze eisen. Oh, nice. I'm I'm now I'm glad that I collected a ton of um, amatite ore. Uh, might as well put one more in there. Even though it's a waste because I'm losing one. So if I want to make the thing, I gotta go over here. And I need two down there, so I'll put that in there and that'll unlock all of those. Might as well. Uh, no, let's. Uh, I don't know because I, I wanna. I've got three. I can do three more things, so I'll do this. And I will bump it up one more level, and then I'll um, kick it up to the next level and make bronze eyes. And oh, you're enjoying Yakuza, um, the um, um, like a dragon. I'm glad to hear that. I th at some point, I think Cameron was going to start playing it, too. Okay, so I can make bronze Aizens directly now. And I should probably still make some ingots in a moment. But for now, I'm definitely going to make some more bronze Aizens so I can, um... Just so I can make gear with it, because that's better, far better gear than what I currently have. Uh, traits? I don't care about traits right now. Uh, okay, I don't have any more Cobranite, so I can't even do anything with that anyway. Amatite, fuel... Alright, we'll just go this way. I'll just feed some more amatite ore to it to get the quality up. 
and then I'll feed some fuel to it to get some um, added levels of, or some extra traits. Uh, healing. I don't think I'm making anything that's going to be defense charge, maybe? That sounds good. We'll deal with that. Yeah, you might as well get started. Uh, I mean, personally, I'm a bigger fan of... Ooh, nice. Miracle plus, burn cure. I'm, I'm personally a big fan of the Like a Dragon um, game more than I am the original, just because I'm not good at fighting games. And that's more or less what um, that turns into. <clears throat> uh, and the other um, Yakuza games, I mean. Alright, so I'll do this. So I saw that there's another recipe that I can do now. So I think it's this one for bestial air. So I don't. How, why does it say I can make it if it, if clearly I can't? Plant essence. Would the would green supplement work for that? I don't remember what green supplement is. I think that's a plant essence. So, that. Some aqua ore. More plant. <laughs> Add lumber. I don't know what add lumber means. Is is add lumber like a um is it a way to turn a phrase about taking a dump? Like, hey, I just added lumber to your toilet. Sorry. Apparently I don't have plant essence. But apparently I can also make plant essence, but I don't know what um I'm guessing that's what that means. If it's white like that. I guess before I do anything, though, I should probably try to make new gear if I can. Oh, cool. Okay, so I can make I can make new weapons. Except I don't have. Okay, yeah, I need to make make some regular ingots. Uh, we'll just actually no, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it all the way. So since this is for weapons, I'm going to pump as much of that gear attack synth into it as I can. There, so now we ought to have some pretty good ingots from that. And I guess I'll make some more. Just want to make sure I don't accidentally use too many. If, in case I need them for creating the weapon. Ah, uh, curse speed. Reduce speed. Temporarily reduces speed when using an item. No thank you. Oh shit, I put curse strength on there. I didn't mean to do that. I'll just make sure not to use that trait when I, um when I make my stuff. So I still want to know what plant essence is. Like, what of the items I have right now is plant, plant essence? Because I have no idea. Alright, so there's our regular ingots. And there's the brun. There's the, the helioprox. Great, so I don't have any ingot that gives blue, but it'll still unlock that one, so it doesn't matter, I guess. But I can't use any of them, so... I guess I guess they were lying? Oh, wait, no, 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 that's not what it's saying at all. I'm just stupid, there we go. So I need... Just any? And then that'll give me Tiny Traveler. But I don't want to waste... I really don't want to waste this on this part. I would rather use it to create these other weapons. 
Howdy. Uh, new viewer, haven't seen you before. Um, a a Aero TV or Arrow? I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. Um, welcome. So let's see. Let's let's pick one of the ones that has gear sim attack plus one. See if we can't make a better sun lamp. What is that? I really don't want to use that, so let's, yeah, let's use some of that. Sun lamp. Mm. And I've got just, an, I've probably got just enough that I can put two of these in here to get that sun lamp in. Although I'm still not sure what sun lamp even does. Sun lamp L. Oh man, I can get sun lamp L. Very nice. There. We got a nice stick. <laughs> I think I better do the first one before. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, I'd like to know if this game is easy to understand, because I like I know the Rise of Two will be translated in your language, and I think it'd be better to do the first one before. I see what you're saying. Um, by the way, your English is fine. Um, so, like the the systems involved in the game are kind of complicated. Like the the alchemy that I was just going through, it takes a little bit to get used to. Uh, but once you learn it, it's not too bad, and I'm sure that depending on your language, there's probably videos out there where people explain it. Um, what is your native language, if you don't mind me asking? And also, I wanted to ask, is this game not uh, translated in your language already? Oh, you're French. I would... God, I would hope that a game with, uh, with such a French-sounding title like Atelier would... Um, would be trend would be in French. I mean, I'm, I, I know I'm making a, a probably a stupid assumption. Um, ingot, I guess I can spare. Oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna use that. Like, honestly, I don't know how well you'd be able to understand me, but um, I could try explaining how the system works. Because really, the, the the story, you don't have to worry about too much, I guess. Like, it, it generally gives you, um, what's the word? Waypoints to go to, like an, like an arrow on the map of, you know, here's where you need to go... Um, here's who you need to talk to, that sort of thing. But I don't think, um, like, the story ever gets to the point where you need, like, to have really good understanding of the language it's in for it, you to be able to understand it. But this, this part I'm doing right here, um, is the only part that I would say is really complicated because you have all these different effects and all these different traits that you get from adding different items and sometimes that can be really challenging to figure out even for someone that's a native speaker because it took me a while to understand how it worked um hey alex are you still in chat can could you do me a solid man could you go and check and see if there's either like a, f a, a French translated version of this game for our friend here or see if there's a YouTube video that maybe explains the alchemy system that's in French or hell anyone if you're still there Cameron would you mind taking a look because I'd really love to uh, give someone else the op opportunity to play this game honestly though I think that if all else fails you could play the second one first uh, and then when you learn how the alchemy system works from the second one, you could probably go back and play the, the first one and then just kind of treat it like you're playing a prequel game. Because I don't think that the story is really of this one is really going to be necessary for you to enjoy the, the sequel. It looks good though, right? It isn't? Shit. Uh, 
God, I wonder if there's any fan translations out there. Because I know that, like, if you buy games on Steam, sometimes French language text will be added via a patch for for the for part one or for part two, Camzy. Heliaprox. Very nice. Yay, better weapons. Now I just need to get more get more ore so that I can make a better weapon for Tally, even though he doesn't really What exactly? I don't know. Two. Oh, okay, so part two is being added via a patch. But yeah, sometimes sometimes on Steam you can find um, translated games. But like I said, if um, if you're understanding me well enough, I can I can certainly try to explain um, some like how the crafting system works if that would help. So let's see. I have to wait a day and then return to their house. I forgot to do that, didn't I? Your English is definitely better than um, any of my um, knowledge of other languages. I think the only other language that I know even remotely okay is German. And that's that's very limited. <laughs> because I took German, gosh, 20 years ago <laughs> when I was in high school. Oh, right. Old Town. Gotta go to the... I guess I can go to the Old Town entrance. Thanks for thanks for checking for me, though, uh, Alex. My English is far too... Far too be perfect, but I... But I am not sure... To know all languages subtitled... To understand all the story or jokes. Oh, no problem. Yeah, sometimes the, the idiomatic expressions definitely get lost. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for stopping by. I apologize that I couldn't be more help. Uh, oh, pff, door's right there. Konnichiwa. The lentils? Lentils? <laughs> Ooh, what was that? Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate the follow. Hope you'll hope you'll be back for more. Um, definitely gonna be streaming the sequel next week when it comes out. I just now noticed that her hair is moving like it's alive. Her hair looks like tentacles. You know what that means, Alex. <laughs> um, much to Cameron's thing. For some reason, I just imagine Lint saying, like, staring at the camera and then saying, I make boom boom. <laughs> I watched that video you sent, Cameron. That was funny. Oni plays is always funny. So, just out of curiosity, um, Arau TV, if you're still there, and for, for, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing it, um, when you were younger, um, I always like asking this, like, when you were younger, um, was there a video game console that was more popular there than it was in other places, or games that were really popular to you growing up? Because, like, I know that in the UK, for example, um, the uh, Amiga 8-bit uh, console or 8-bit uh, computer, actually, I think it was a 16-bit computer, was really popular in the UK. So I don't know if it um, was popular in France as well or if 
maybe that's a little too far back. Oh, hey, Chair. Um, Chair, while you're while you're here, um, say hello to Candid Camzy. He's the one I was telling you about that'll be streaming um, Super Ledge Hop Double Laser um, at the beginning of Fran um, France. At the beginning of February. Now I've got French on the brain. But yeah, this is absolutely a cute game. Except for Tit Lady, she doesn't know how to wear clothes. It's like she last she last went uh, to um. Look at those super gloves, those super globes. <laughs> yeah, um, it's like she went to went to the store to buy clothes like ten years ago, and then she forgot what she was there for, and ended up buying soup instead. And, and now she's like, shit, I know I forgot something, but what is it? <laughs> And it's like, why do why does my chest hurt? And why is it hard to breathe? And then suddenly she remembers what she forgot. But, you know, it's like, it's not the clothes that she thinks she forgot. She thinks she forgot something else. It's like, oh, that's right. I forgot to get new, I forgot to get chicken for the soup. How the fuck did I mess that up? Um, what am I supposed to be doing in here? Use Envision Recipe on grass beans to create a blessing ointment with at least 30 quality and give it to Lila. Envision Recipe. I thought I already created, um, grass beans. Oh, well, fuck me, I guess not. <laughs> what? I can't- I can't use your pot. I have to go use my own friggin' pot. The hell's wrong with you? Fine, I'll go home and use my dinky little pot that my parents probably used to conceive me in. Alright, so they wanted grass beans with a quality of 30 or higher. I can, I can do that. Just give them the damn beans. Actually, this might be... Oh wait, I already, it already has a quality of 30. Oh no, we're not we're not turning it into dry biscuits. Traits don't care about those. Actually, all she wanted was all she wanted was um. Oh, I still need to I still need to give it some more ingredients though, don't I? Because I think this is that's one of the necessary ones. Oh wait, no, I can start synthesis right now. Gonna make some chicken nuggets. Shit, make me some chicken nuggets, man. I'm starving. Wait a second. Use Envision Recipe on grass beans to create a blessing ointment. Oh. Oh, okay. Do I have to do it that way, or can I just do it this way? Because... I think we're good. Oh, fuck. I don't have any more, um... I don't have any more blue stuff. I guess I gotta make some blue stuff. So just throw some lobsters in a pot here and, um... Make some blue juice. Did anyone else when they were kids... So, th this is probably a really strange freaking question to ask, but... When you were a kid, did you ever just used to, like, go into your parents, um... Like, go into the kitchen and, like, steal some, um... Steal some food coloring and then play chemist. And just, like, pretend that you were a chemist because you were mixing together colors and making other colors. Because I know I did. And that's why I feel like when I'm playing this game, I feel like I'm just a kid that's, um... Like, <laughs> blue and red makes purple. Oh, shit. I thought for sure that that was, um... What I needed to make that. Can I just make a blessing ointment with a quality of 31 or, or 30 or higher? Oh shit, that hurt. That hurt the quality level. That's what happens when you try to mix um, mix shit into a bucket of wine. Make some of that blue juice. <laughs> That's the only thing I don't like about this game is that sometimes it's it doesn't make it really clear what uh, types of ingredients you need. Like I know that I could go look in the encyclopedia and find out what counts as medicinal, but 
I wish it was more readily available, like it would give me some examples. Okay, is that is that what she wants? Like, do I absolutely have to do it differently? Use Envision Recipe on Grass Beans. Should I offer new... Okay, I mean, I... I have a blessing ointment with a quality of 30 or higher. Hopefully she doesn't care how I made it. Like, hopefully she's okay with store-bought, um... Blessing ointment. Which sounds like some kind of snake oil. Old town, old town. Oh wait, let's go to the, let's try the water fountain. Where's my candy air? There's like stuff all over my screen. Okay. Oh, there's a quest to do here. It's probably gonna have me um, do something for his garden. Pet. <laughs> He, that's that's um I don't know just the way he's looking at me and the fact that his name is Pat makes me think that um how do I say it without saying it he looks perverted he looks like he wants to to get some of um Riza's um thigh muffins That's what they should call them, the, like where the, the fat of the thigh overflows, the, the thigh highs, it should be called a thigh muffin. Fairy stone fragments, I've got tons of that shit. Why didn't you just give it to him to begin with? There. There. Have these and keep your hands off my thigh muffins. No, whenever we make jokes, we really do need to bear in mind that, that Ryza is a teenager and us being 30-somethings, that's kind of creepy. Oh yeah, that's right. So this is there's a this is a quest line where you um, help this guy uh, reopen his dye shop, and you have somebody come help. You have to find someone to help him. What kind of fruit are these? Kirk and fruit. Sorry. No. <clears throat> It'd be great if there's a way to slow slow the vocal down a little bit so it sounds all deep like a death metal band like no Ore Just make uh make Rise that sound like she's like should be like just rippling muscles. Aw, oh, we lost peoples. You better, you better say I did because I sure as fuck did. There, it's 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 a high enough quality to fit your standards, ma'am. God, I, I really wish I was writing down some of these ideas for things I want to stream because I just thought of another one. I kind of want to do like Xenoblade Chronicles X. Granted, that's another RPG, so that would be another super long stream, or one that I just get halfway into and then I don't play it anymore. Oh, actually, you know what would be a really fun one to stream would be um, Scott Pilgrim, especially since that got re-released recently. I just haven't bought it yet. And then I would just need a player too. Alright, where to now? Uh, it feels much better after using the Blessing Ointment. Decides to visit Claudia to brag about it a bit. That's not a good look on you, Ryza. You followed a recipe, Ryza. That doesn't make you, um, Gordon fucking Ramsay. Now, when I added, um, when I added chicken and rotel to Velveeta shells and cheese, that made me a chef. Just saying. I invented chicken butt, the best, um, the best butt-based dish ever made. And by the way, if you're still there, um, chair, if you, um, if you like cheese steaks and, and cheese in general, you owe it to yourself to go out to the store, get some chicken thighs, cube it, like cut it up into cubes, 
cook it in the stove and just se season it however you like. I personally think the spicier the better. And then you also make a box of uh, Velveeta shells and cheese. Mix Velveeta, I mean, uh, mix Rotel peppers into it. And then mix the chicken into it. Because, no lie, it is freaking delicious. Made it once, um, just uh, desperately trying to find something to cook when I had no food in the house. And I, that's all I had left was like chicken, Rotel peppers, and Velveeta shells and cheese. And, um, mmm. It's good. Alex and uh, Cameron here can uh, back me up on that. Chicken butt is the tits. I can also smoke a mean brisket. <laughs> Well then, take the frickin' um, weights off of your dress and let's go. She's got like frickin' pendulums on her on her on her elbows. Or maybe they're like a brazier, like those. Um, or not brazier. The the thing that the priests use when they're like doing the incense thing when they're walking around and. Waving the incense around, trying to hide the fact that they farted in church, and they're like, "Oh yeah, I'm just um, I'm blessing the the church and dispelling evil energy." You know the things that they use to cover up farts in church. I don't know the proper name for that, but that's what it looks like. A uh, a Mormon fart diffuser. That's what I'm gonna call it, even though I know it's Catholics that do that. Mormon fart diffuser just sounds funnier. It kind of rolls off the tongue better. Kind of like that that Facebook page title, Cameron shitting at Sherwin Williams or taking a dump at Sherwin Williams. That just rolls off the tongue much better than like you know taking a dump at Chuck E. Cheese. Lumbar. Does he have back problems? Yeah, just throw a fucking bomb at him, dude. We, like, blew the fuck out of a rock god earlier. Just, just shove, a, shove a bomb with explosion medium up his butt and watch the pieces fly. You want to make some super huge mozzarella sticks? God, that sounds delicious. I tell you what I want more than anything right now. I want to order a friggin' pizza from, um... House of Pizza. That would be amazing. For those of you who are in the San Antonio area and you have Grubhub or um, DoorDash or whatever, uh, you need to see if you can get uh, House of Pizza delivered. Like, it's just good. And they, they're open till like 3 in the morning. Love it. See, our library is overflowing with shit. It's overflowing with porn thanks to, to Lynch Dead. No, all joking aside, I probably identify with Tao more than the other characters because I like books and knowledge and, and stuff. Granted, my books are usually digital now. And because they can be updated. Like giant ones. Like what? Like the size of a baby's forearm? Or hell, just take a baby's forearm, fill it with cheese, and, and fry it. まだ完全じゃないけど、ちゃんとだから知りたいんだ。あの本に書いてあること全部が。な、な、なるほどね。へえ。へえ。どうかいましたよ。そんなわけで。Let's say, what the fuck is their problem? Do they just spend all their, all their time off, like, harassing Tal for reading books? Fucking assholes, get a fucking life or a job or, you know, go make Mormon fart diffusers for a living. What now? Um, return home, okay. Can do. Liza, Damn it, there's a fucking hair on the screen right where her ass is. 
I wasn't I wasn't staring. I promise. still have your your weighted training dress on This is what she played. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry. I wasn't done yet. Wrong wind instrument. Oh wait, here's another wind instrument. <laughs> Alright, sorry, I'll stop now. I like how she has a doll of those things that she kills in the woods. It's like, how cute. I, I once had my, my staff covered in the blood of those things. Yeah, like that one. And there's one of those goddamn ferrets that keeps on killing me. His brain looks like it's sticking out. Either that or he somehow braided his ferret hair. Brain! <laughs> Uh oh. There's a fucking Pokemon here now. Or a Mushi King uh, battle card. Does anyone else remember that game, Mushi King? Where you got the cards that had different beetles on them and different attacks, and you um, use them at the arcade to play that game. I think there was a home version of that. Like, I kind of want to look that up now because I liked Mushi King. Mushi King was cool. Good God, Mom. I've got a job now. I'm an alchemist. Why don't I alchemize you a friggin' Hitachi magic wand so that you can go relieve whatever this, like, boiling stress is that you're having? Actually, better yet, how about I just alchemize you a, a freaking heart or a sense of humor? Oh man, I freaking love. I'm glad that I'm not the only one that remembered Mushi King. Yeah, Mom, I'm sorry. Not everyone just wants to be a baby dispenser like you were. Maybe, maybe some of us want to, you know, have a job other than child rearing. Yeah, blow it out your ass, mom. Liza? 
got bags under her eyes and she's probably not even 30. <laughs> but mom, I want to make a human. Like, I want to make a friggin' humonculus. Yeah, well, the rest of the village can go fuck themselves with, with dildos that I make with alchemy for them. In fact, that should be the next quest. Let's go make, let's go out into the woods and find the splinteriest wood. And let's make wooden dicks for all of those people to go and shove up their ass. Because they should just mind their own business instead of talking about a little girl and her desire to make medicine and, and cool things. Ooh, ooh, is this the part where we make the hideout? Yeah, it's time to build the hideout! We'll go make our own house. With our own rules. With robot, or with hookers and, and booze. Is that what they said? Is that what B Bender said in um, Futurama? Nice and open and there's already a fucking house there. But you don't have to build a house, there's already a house there. Just fixing a house. And then we'll flip it. そこはそれ、錬金術でパパッと立てるってわけにはいかない。なんで僕らに聞くのさ、錬金。あ、アンペルさんに相談してみたらどうかな。そうだね。うん、そうしよう。Okay, now what? Okay, I learned more um more recipes. Zettel? What is Zettel? I don't remember ever making Zettel before. Let's see what it is. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Once again, I don't have regular friggin' water. Regular friggin' water. Not fancy water, not Evian, just regular water. Oh, what am I doing? I should have. Eh, it doesn't matter. It wasn't gonna change anything anyway. Or is it? Oh, yeah, I guess it really isn't. It's just gonna give me that quality plus 10 kick. I'm guessing Zettel is a different kind of paper. They can be turned into Traveler's Water Orb, whatever that is. Still tells me I can make um, bestial air, but I kind of doubt it. Because I still need plant essence, and I still don't know what plant essence is. It's clearly not this supplement. Like, is, is, is honey plant essence? Gotta be something here that tells me what plant essence is. Plant essence. Uh, synthesis material. Suitable. Suitable. What? Suitable item. Hammer. Oh, to 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 um, to get it. At first, I thought that they were telling me that um, <laughs> that a hammer is plant essence. 
Oh, so I need I need a hammer to um, harvest plant essence, but I am nowhere close to being able to make a hammer yet. Because I need ethereal stone, and if I'm not mistaken, that is, yeah, I don't even I don't even have the ability to harvest that yet. <laughs> Tough logs, I make those all the time. Scythe axe. What is that? What do I need to make that again? So I need lumber and whatever that is. Oh, I need an. I actually need an axe to um, to create that. That's easy enough. So I think I actually have most of these things. I just need to make um, make a wood wood cutter axe. Just make a low quality one. Really quick. <laughs> there, so now maybe I have most of what I need to make that. Yeah, there we go. There, now I now I don't have to carry both an axe and a scythe around at the same time if I can successfully make this. Wait, I need three axes to make that? That sucks. Okay, fine. I guess I'll make two more low-quality axes. I wonder if she has to make three axes because she knows she's gonna fuck fuck it up at least twice before she gets it right. I know how you feel, Ryza. I, I tend to fuck things up multiple times before I get them right, too. Alright, now we'll try making it. Of course, chances are I'm not gonna be able to try to add that, that other effect to it. Because I have exactly three that I can do here, so I'm gonna have to just shove three axes in the pot to make this one thing. But that's okay. Ta-da! And none of these traits matter at all, because it's not a weapon. Dun dun! Level up. Don't I get another? Oh, okay. There it is. But it doesn't it doesn't upgrade into anything else? There. So now I can um, chop and cut. Add gas. I don't need any help with that, thank you. Right, and we'll sleep until day. I'm, uh, I'm only gonna play for like another 17 minutes because it's getting a little late and I gotta work tomorrow. But yeah, just another 17 minutes and then we'll call it a night and then I'll need, I'll need to start thinking of what I want to play on Friday. Because I'm not sure I'll, um, I'm not sure I'll come back to this or not. Like, if you guys are having, are enjoying watching this, I'll play it again. But, you know, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure if, um, you're interested. Rises house, deserted port. We can. Um, I just need to figure out what what the like what game to play on there, and we need to gather uh, people to play. Is 
So, um, I guess that's a good question. So, anyone that's still here, if you're still here, here Cameron, do you wanna... Would you maybe like to do Tabletop Simulator on Friday? Cause I'm, um, I'm totally down for that. Otherwise, um, I'm definitely down to play more of this cause I like this game, but... It's not for everybody. Um, play what though? Um, see, that's a great question. Like, that's what I need. That's what I need assistance deciding on. Do we want to play? Do we want to play more Channel A? Do we want to play? Um, and there's always Pledge Against Humanity. Or we could play Super. F Actually, that'd be a good one. We could play Super Fight. Cause I would love to, I'd love to hear some, um, some of the kind of crazy shit you all come up with for Super Fight. Like, for example, why, why Obama would beat Godzilla in a fight. Okay, I wonder if I can, I wonder if I could beat the ferret at the level I'm at now. I'm gonna try to beat the ferret. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, I'll just lose some of the stuff I picked up, but I don't have anything special. Yeah. Cards yeah. Against Humanity. Hey, Assistant Nightmare, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. How's school going so far? Here, have a bomb. Holy shit! That bomb blew him the fuck up. So much for being worried about not managing to kill the ferret, because there's like probably pieces of him back in town now. What about that dragon? I haven't I don't think I've caught one of those. Alright, let's see how the bomb hits the dragon. Driving with it as an introvert. Yeah, I hear that. Um, I'm probably going, well, I am going to be going back to school soon for game, like, the green game development. Really looking forward to it. At the same time, I'm kind of worried and wondering um, if I'm going to be able to keep up with that and work and everything. I'm only going to take like maybe one class a semester starting off until I um, get used to um, the curriculum. Yeah. Oral skills was to watch Star Wars Episode 4 and find an octatonic scale with the music. Oh, I can't go over here. I don't even know what an octatonic scale is, so you're already um, head and shoulders beyond me. I'm assuming it's um, something to do with music. I am, I am definitely all, uh, all thumbs when it comes to anything artistic. Unfortunately, to scale with eight tonics. Hmm. Man, I want some tonic. Or really, uh, any alcohol is good. Okay. Oh, you know what? I know what plant essence is now. It's, um... The reason I need the hammer is because if I hit a plant... If I hit a plant with, um, a hammer, it turns it into, um, plant essence. Like, like plant splat, essentially. But unfortunately, I don't have the even remotely the ability to create a hammer yet until I can go to the tower. So I can get that meteor stone or whatever they call it. Ooh, a treasure chest. Ooh, another gold coin for a drunk, abusive father. John Williams used a lot of music. It's a scale built on a half step followed by a whole note. Hmm. 
and John Williams uses that a lot. Like, I, I'd, ha I'd, I would love to hear an example of that. Maybe I'll have to look it up. Maybe on, on um, YouTube somewhere, there's an example. Oh, you know, that actually reminds me of something else I wanted to mention. Um, I'm considering taking some of the stories that I've I've written and uh, told to my wife and stuff, and I'm thinking of publishing a book. Not not the Duke Poopum stories, obviously, but um, like there's a, a scary story I wrote that I that was that we read during um, Halloween um, that everyone ended up liking. So I might try to write more stuff like that and see if see about publishing it like on Amazon or something on the the Kindle store because that'd be neat, right? Duke Poppin, Duke Poopum. Have you read the newest one, Woody? Did you did you read Duke Poop and Super Spreader? I still I still really want to hear Cameron read um read that one out loud. Oh, you did. Good. Yeah. I would never publish those because those are so, so stupid. But you know me, like I'm. I love stupid, stupid humor. Wait, I thought this. Thought this is where I was supposed to be going. Uh, oh, I gotta go talk to Emple first. Jesus. Okay, fine. <laughs> Yeah, um, Duke Poopum ends up uh, spreading the COVID-21 20, 20, or 22 virus. Um, but all it does is make people throw up. But there was more to it than that. It was just a, it was just a really stupid blue-collar joke. <laughs> but that's, that's the kind of humor I'm best at. Blue-collar, um, low-brow humor. If one can even call it humor. So na wake de kakurega no tadekata to ka lenkin jutsu o tsukatte dekitari shi nai ka na. Kigaru ni tayore to wa itta ga hitori dachi shita bakari da ro? Jibun. I mean, you know how to make freaking tools and stuff, Ryza. Why, why is it so hard to make a brick? It's a square. It's not hard to make a brick, Ryza. I'm guessing the word Rinkin is um, Japanese for alchemy, because I keep on hearing, I've always heard that word like used a lot, especially in Fullmetal Alchemist. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you for stopping by and for sticking around. Um, I hope that you managed to find a way to play um, Ryza in French. Stop laughing. You don't even know how to wear clothes. That does not look comfortable at all. Like, I can't even imagine what it's like to have two flesh melons on the front of me, but, like, that just looks so uncomfortable. Like, how can she breathe? Can she breathe? That's a better question. Uh, I decided to make the building materials. Alright, so we gotta go back home and get Mom mad at us again. How did it with blackjack and hookers? Oh, 
There's already a fucking house there, though. You don't have to build a house. Just, just put some gum and tape on it. Just imagine what's in the forest, but less shitty, and it'll be fine. Well, you could start with some bricks and lumber and stuff. I think that those are pretty much the building blocks of whatever you want to make. You know this game never never explains what all that shit on her belt is either or why she had it before she became an alchemist. It's like she's got some orange Fanta and some red Fanta and some... Did they make green Fanta? Probably not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that word must be an alchemist. It's interesting that they have their own word for it. Like, I always wondered if alchemy was something that was, like, known across country boundaries and, or not country boundaries, that's not a word, uh, across different uh, na na nations and nationalities, or if it was, like, purely uh, an English-European thing, or if they introduced them to the concept of it. <laughs> you know, on that note, Lent doesn't... I, I've been ignoring the obvious here. Lent also doesn't know how to wear clothes. Because look at his shirt. His shirt looks like it was made for a five-year-old. And it's just so tight now that he can't take it off without hurting himself. Hear that or it's to give, um... I mean, it's fair. Give the girl some eye candy, too. Granted, you know, he's still a teenager, so that's still gross, too. Talk. Stone material, building material, seaweed soil. Do I have enough to start making stuff and how much do I need? Make one of the materials you came up with. I'm sure I probably can make at least part of it. Stone material, building material, and seaweed soil. Let's start with this one. We'll just make low quality so we can save our ingredients. Because in this case, I'm making a, I'm making a fort. I'm not making equipment, so the traits and effects aren't gonna matter. Yeah, that's, that's the idea, Claudia. You're catching on. まだ始まったばかりよ。どんどん調合するから、しっかり運んでね。森の広場まで出来上がったものを一つ一つ運ぶのか。いっそのこと森で調合すりゃいいだろうに。集中が必要な調合を野外でできるわけないでしょ。え
Jeez, even that low grade, it's still it's still a B. Alright, so that's four. Right, there's, that's six, I think. So that's more than enough of those. Now stone. Low quality. And that's gonna make two. Okay, so I need to do the, do it three times for each of them if I'm able to. Oh, I guess I'm just about out of time now. I'll go a little bit longer. I'll at least finish building the house. Oh no, those of you who are still here, what do you think? You think I should, um... You think I should play this again? Ah, oh, shit, I made it high quality. Um, do you think I should play this again on, uh, Friday, or do you think we should play something else? Because I'm having fun here. I just don't know if you guys are. I don't know, this game is, um, super relaxing to me. Alright, more low quality stuff. Oh, okay, well then I tell you what, then I will, I'll play this some more on Friday. And then next week we'll, um, we'll play some of the sequel. Just to see how different it is. I don't know, like, this this kind of game that's slow-paced and whatnot, it's just kind of... I don't know, it's soothing. It's it's relaxing. Like, it's just sitting back and, and crafting stuff. Like, I'm not, like, constantly out fighting and, and what have you. Ah, shit, I did high quality again. Oh, well, whatever. Yep, I'm gonna build a house that's able to kill slimes. It's a shame I can't equip it. Okay, so that's... That's everything, I think. Is there anything else fun I can make? It still tells me that I can make this natural cloth, but, um... Or this this bestial... Whatever the heck it is. Yeah. But I don't have plant essence. So I can't... <laughs> I don't know what on earth it's talking about, unless, like, there's something I can put in that slot that's enough to open that up, but I don't think there is. And I definitely don't have giant puny ball either. Oh. I wish I knew what it was talking about because I can't make any of that stuff yet. I think that this is that's all the building materials I need. Hopefully. If it is, then the house gets built and hooray we'll be in good a good place for Friday. I hate how they call it a hunk of junk because that looks like a structurally sound boat to me. Like, what's wrong with it? It doesn't have any holes in it. It's boat-shaped. It works like a boat. Probably smells like a boat. Feels like a boat. Must be a boat. Huh. Amazingly, at 10 p.m. at night, there seems like there's no monsters out here. At least I don't see any. There's no fairies, no poonies, no... Oh, never mind. There's fairies out here. Plenty of beehives to be had. Not that I need them right now. I still need to decide whether I'm going to get uh, Atelier Ryza 2 on the PS4 or if I'm going to get it for um, the Switch. Because a switch is probably fine. Because it looks good here, and I don't, I just don't know how much better PS5 would make would make uh, make this game look. 
Yes. But I just want more games for the PS5. Granted, that would that would kind of make it challenging to stream since it's higher quality. Yes. And my capture card, while it supports that, it also strips out a lot of the detail that I would be getting otherwise. So it makes me not want to un like disconnect my PS5 and run it through the capture card. But I guess I will if I go that route. Maybe we can alchemize you a shirt that fits, Len. It's like, I know how to make the materials, but now she's acting kind of like a scrum master. She's like, I don't know any of the technical details, but do it. <laughs> Which is fair. Apparently out of out of sea, seaweed soil and um, building materials and wood or whatever the other thing was, it looks like we somehow also invented light bulbs and electricity. Because I really doubt that that's candle power that's, that's lighting those windows. Although in looking inside, it would lead me to believe that that's the case. <laughs> Fuck you, Dad. Fuck you, Mom. We're gonna stay out all night. We're gonna do alchemy and get high and drunk and... Read porno. You can't control us anymore. She probably put one brick down and then it's like, okay, fuck this. Because that would be me. I'd be like, this is too hard. I'm gonna try to program a house. Oh, didn't work. <laughs> and there's the title of the sh of the game. Yeah, this will this will be a good um, ending spot. After they're done talking. Well, now you should sleep. So,俺は冒険者として、あの山の彼方にそびえる塔を攻略して。村の連中に目にも見せてやるぜ。僕は僕は家の書庫に積み上げられた文献をどこかして、そこに記された知識全てに触れたい。私は私もいつか誰の前でもお父さんの前でもフルートを並走する。<笑><笑> Uh, I had to do that one more time.
ライザだけもう聞いてたりするのかまあねあ私が勝手に恥ずかしがってライザだけに聞いてもらったんだごめん謝るようなことじゃないよそうそう慣れないうちはライザで十分だろう See what you can be doing stuff like that. You just gotta set up your stuff. Just do it. Go trying to make it your thing, buddy. <laughs> Don't try to steal Atelier or Riser, Riser's Atelier from her. Hmm. Still, a lot of things are too complicated. Like what? If you need it, you can use it all. Good. That's it. That's our plan. You mean the fact that you built it isn't enough? <laughs> Just gonna hang ten thousand flutes of differing, differing types. What? <laughs> なんだろう。き、君が悪いな。背筋がゾワゾワ。あ、しか。様子、な、なんでさ、危険には近づくなってリラさんにも言われてるのに。せっかくアトリエが完成したのに、これじゃクラウディアも安心して過ごせないでし
I assume I use them in recipes. Ooh, what are those? Ooh, first off, give me whatever's in this rock. Can I break these? I guess not. There's a giant poony there. Oh shit. Oh fuck! I didn't expect it to follow me. This might not be good. It might kill me. Please. I didn't think I did. I don't think I didn't think I dealt magic damage, but okay. Oh, okay. We we killed it. <laughs> Ooh, got a giant puny ball, so I can make that puny ball leather. And I guess I can't um, harvest those yet because I don't have the the hammer or the bomb rod. Not to mention I just used like a whole bunch of um, crystal charges, so I'm going to have to have somebody consume an item in order to um, get my charges back for this. Who's that Pokemon? Looks like a crystal lizard from um, Dark Souls, actually. It doesn't seem very interested in fighting. Master of running away. Good job, buddy. Claudia, Hanashi, what are you? So that. Yeah, I think that's as good of a, a stopping point as any. We'll, we'll pick up with talking to Empel next next time. For now, I'll return. Oh, I still came back here. And just hit her diary real quick. Save and... Yeah. Um, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. On Friday, we'll pick up with some more of this. Um, so for those of you who were have been here the whole time or even just part of the time thank you so much again for stopping by to watch and um like i said we'll pick up on friday and then next week the sequel comes out and we'll check that out and then we'll move on to some other games that i haven't really decided what we're going to do yet but it's gonna be fun either way so until next time guys i will um be seeing you have a good rest of your week until friday love you guys bye